morning, beautiful earthlings. It's day 102, January 31st, 2022. We hit our 100-day mark. I am finally leaving Athens. I've finished my month-long gym membership. I've put on some weight. My motorcycle pants are barely buttoning up, and that's okay with me. And we're all packed up. Fully loaded. Okay, I made like two U-turns trying to park my bike a little closer, but this doesn't look like cars can drive through. We have these ballers. And here's the stadium. There's no way I could have gotten my bike closed. I would have loved to, but... There's not any police, but I'm kind of a chicken when it comes to these things. We are going to leave Athens and go to Epidaurus. Epidaurus? Um, of course, no tolls, no highways, just gonna take it slow. Um, I actually haven't ridden long distance with all my stuff in a month, so I feel kind of like um, uneasy, so I'm gonna take it slow at first. And let's go. 55 degrees um, Fahrenheit, and I took off my inner layer for the first time in like two months, and I'm like sweating, so. It's a good day to go long distance. Black stuff. It's actually snow. Apparently the city was not prepared for this year's heavy snowstorm. There's no way I can fit through there. <laughs> I'm too wide in the back. <laughs> Here's a police officer. these lines like what am I supposed to follow it's like a Venn diagram <laughs> was absolutely exhausted moving every other day or every two days and I told myself like I want to rest for a while in Athens put on some weight like really experience a city instead of just passing through and that's what I did I got a month-long gym membership at Yaba it's it was only like 20 minutes away from my hostel and it was great. I went three times a week and <laughs> worked on my any muscles that would help me pick up my bike when I drop it. So I heavily focused on deadlifts and leg presses. Of course I worked on like core and back arms and shoulders as well because y'all know those little muscles help those last. 50 pounds <laughs> get off the ground so um did I see everything I wanted to I saw mostly um my favorite things were Acropolis I actually didn't like how crowded it was but the monuments are absolutely amazing 
Um, my next favorite one was the Temple of Poseidon. Um, it's kind of hard to get there if you don't have a mode of transportation. There is a bus, so there are ways. It's just not very convenient compared to a motorcycle. And yeah, I went to the National Garden. I went to Monastariki. A bunch of these neighborhoods. And they're all like similar, but unique in their own way. And yeah, it felt like it was time to leave. I finished my freaking five pound book, um, The Chronicles of Narnia. I finished one of the other books that was at the hostel, um, Empress of the Seven Oceans. So that was actually a good book. I'm actually surprised. Like from the cover art and like the faded yellow background, I was like, oh, this this book is kind of dated, but once you get into it, it's like, dang, this is like timeless and it is pretty mind opening as well. So if you haven't read it, I actually really recommend it. And yeah, like, I'm feeling a lot more comfortable now on my bike again. I, I missed it. Um, it's weird. When you don't ride for a while, you kind of, I, I kind of get lazy. Like, ugh, I have to suit up, I have to gas up, I have to get, charge my devices. It's, it's the process. Um, that's all just like a mental block and once you get on it you're like dang why didn't I do this earlier so that's what it feels like but I had to like hold myself back from like going on long trips because the intent of the month in Athens was to rest recover put on weight and but like the impulsive part of me was like oh but you can go here or you can go here and you can explore there and I did that like a few times um, but I really had to intentionally stop myself from those thoughts because I knew like I will do those things eventually but it's kind of counterproductive if I do those big trips while I'm trying to like rest and recover because <laughs> then I'll just be tired all the time so yeah I'm happy to be back on the road again man look at this car Sharon Lanes, I'm like right in the middle and you're just right next to me. So basically to get to the next city, Epidaurus, I'm going the same way when me and my hostel mate went to Corinth. So I get to enjoy this seaside ride. Look at this puppers. Badass. Okay, y'all. I am hungry. We haven't eaten breakfast or lunch today. We just got moving. So I pulled over. And I'm gonna look for like a restaurant or something. Okay, so I went to a cafe there. I got a banana. And I got this like pie. It's not a pie, I'm just calling it a pie, but I picked the one that looked like egg. But <laughs> there's a hell of a chicken in here. It's like hella full of chicken, so I'm just gonna eat it. Thank you, chicken, for giving your life for me accidentally. So there's like chicken, carrots, peas. The outside crust is um, crunchy. And the inside like tastes like chicken pot pie. It's like hella good. It's like if chicken pot pie was in like a pizza form, that's what it tastes like. Okay, we're actually gonna change gears. I was gonna ride to Epidaurus, but I'm actually really tired. I stayed up till 5 a.m. last night my sleep schedule's messed up um just because that month rest i was like oh i don't have to wake up for anything or like rest to ride so i just stayed up whenever i wanted so i'm actually exhausted and i'm actually going to 
go to a hostel in Luchaki. It's only 20 minutes away and the sun's gonna set in like an hour anyway, so this wasn't planned, but I am open and adaptable to change. Let's go. Ooh, there looks like there's a fire. Uh-oh. One of the stacks, it looks like they just burn whatever gas comes out of the pipe, so looks like normal every day. Yeah, I just saw like a flame coming out from that. We've been here before when we went to um, that one waterfall on the beach with my hostel mate. But just want to show it again. Okay, y'all, we um, <laughs> tied our bike to the tree, so if they're a tree hugger, they can have my bike. Here is my hostel. Um, all my shit splayed out, but I have a full kitchen. I have a couch, TV. There's actually no one else here. First restroom. And here is the beds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight lockers. And then here's a second restroom with a shower. I can do cartwheels because there's nobody here. But not that I would do cartwheels because I don't know how. But it's about six o'clock. Um, I'm kind of tired. I want to sleep early. So um, I will... I'll probably go find something to eat.